Welcome to Tony Unleashed, the podcast where we unleash the truth about all things pets. Our research and anecdotal evidence matched with pet expert interviews will help you help your pet thrive. We are here to answer questions, divulge information, and spread awareness about what's really going on in the world of pets. I am your co-host, Emily Taylor, pet nutrition enthusiast. And I'm Tony Shalaski, owner of Healthy Pet Products with three locations in the Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania area, and recently expanded to Port Charlotte, Florida. Welcome to the show. Hi, and welcome back to another episode of Tony Unleashed. On this episode, we have Christy from Paws Across Pittsburgh, a very successful foster-based rescue here locally. We have another guest as well, Erica and Laura. And they manage the Anthropology Outlet in Pittsburgh and is organizing an incredible event that we will be participating in. We'll discuss this fantastic community event more in depth and explain how and why you should support Paws Across Pittsburgh. First and foremost, Christy, I'm particularly excited to talk with you today as well. Um, I pretty much religiously follow your rescue and all the amazing and cute dogs you guys save. You guys just have the cutest dogs that are available for adoption all the time. And I've been looking forward to connecting with you. And Tony loves um, home decor, so she's really excited to be <laughs> working with anthropology. <laughs> <laughs> but together, we are both huge animal rescue supporters and love the opportunity to talk and work with you guys both. Um, so let's let's really dive into it. Um, Erica, Laura, Christy, tell us about yourselves. We want to know who you are, what you do, and how you guys all connected because this is quite a unique partnership that we do, that we love and fully support, but we don't often see a um, decorating business or furniture. <laughs> Paired with a dog. Clothing too. Clothing, clothing too. too. Yes. But not Retail. that much at the outlet. Yes. But paired with a um, local rescue. Yeah. Erica and Laura. So tell us, tell us how this all started. So, well, I've, I've been with the company for about 13 years now. Um, I didn't, I didn't start at the home outlet. I started at one of the clothing stores and I kind of made my way back and forth between the clothing stores in the area um, for about 12 of those 13 years. And um, it's it's always been like a super pet friendly company of all things. I mean, we love we love our animals. Um, and at the I guess at the beginning, when I first started with the company, we we were actually doing dog adoption events in the clothing stores. Really? Oh. Yeah. So we were partnering with local res- rescues and it was an, a, an initiative company wide. So across the country, every every store would partner with a local rescue and, and just work on, on finding homes for, for pets in need. Um, so always been like a focus of the company. We've always been, again, like super pet friendly. The, the home office in Philadelphia actually has like a bring your work to, or bring your dog to work policy. Hmm. So you can actually like bring your pet to the office and they have, um, they have a dog park on site. So um, we just, we, we love our pets. They're, they're part of our family. And, um, and so, you know, it's, it's been a while since we've had one of these events. Uh, they kind of like fell off the radar for a while. And, um, and Erica has, has recently joined our company and our brand, and she's also a pet lover. And she, she came to me a little while ago with the suggestion of, of running a pet adoption event. And I just thought it was a great idea and something we should, we should bring back yeah. to light. I love Especially that. because not only are our employees huge, like animal lovers, um, our customers are as well. So we're we're dog friendly in the store as well. Um, mm. Customers are welcome to bring bring their pets to the store. Actually, we had a Bengal cat on a leash. Wow! <laughs> oh. Yeah, and a backpack. Was, oh, no probably the same Bengal cat that comes to Cranberry. Uh, I bet. I bet you. Yeah. It's a Murphy. What What's his name? Murphy. I have no idea. I don't know either. I don't know the name. I haven't seen him in like a year, but we do have a Bengal cat that comes in on a leash and he's very well trained. And can, yeah, Yeah. I bet it's, yeah. Oh, he's super sweet. But uh, I mean, we we probably see like at least 10 pets in our store a day. Um, So our, our, our customers are animal lovers as well. And, um, and, you know, we're super, super passionate about finding, finding homes for, for pets in need. So that's, that's Love how it. this came 
I love that. I had no idea about anthropology that you could bring your I dogs or cats into the, the store and that you guys were such a pet friendly corporation. I had no idea. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, the word. Okay, Christy, tell us about yourself. Who are you? What, like, how are you a part of Paws Across Pittsburgh? And tell us a little about sure. the rescue organization. Sure, absolutely. So I've been with Paws probably a little, a little over a year now. I got way involved really quick. <laughs> so I, um, there was a situation on a, on a Facebook page about someone giving a dog away for free, which makes me mental. Um, so I went down a rabbit hole with this and basically reached out to a ton of rescues here in Pittsburgh and nobody would take the dog except for us. So, um, the dog was going to lose his home at the end of the week. He had nowhere to go. I was told by other rescues in the area that there had to be an interview process and it just wasn't great. And within two days, Paws took him in and he lived a great life. He actually fortunately passed away a couple of months ago. He was an older sick dog. But anyway, I just knew I wanted to work with Paws. They do things right. Um, I started out volunteering at some events and then I got way more into it. I started running my own events. Um, my actual title is event donation coordinator. So Erica sent probably sent an email to our events email that, that, that comes over to me and another fellow volunteer. And then we kind of check out the event to make sure it's going to be something that we can do. You know, we have to think about whether events can generate money for us or if they can get dogs adopted, right. you know, if, Those are the two things that we kind of have to look for because obviously we're all volunteer based. We all have full jobs outside of rescue. Just the way they do things at pause is just so great. Um, We have wonderful fosters who take fosters, you know, they have a foster that foster gets adopted. They take another one the next week. They're so amazing. Um, We all, we are foster home based, so we cannot pull any dogs unless we have a committed foster. So are you, always, ju- is it just um, dogs? Yeah, uh, we do cats too. Okay. The rescue has been around since 2016 and to date we've saved 5,018 wow. animals, something wow. like that. Wow. That's, that's big. Yeah. Our animals are coming from high kill shelters that are overcrowded and they reach out to us to take some animals or they're going to have to euthanize for space, mm-hmm. which is super. We do it right. We have a foster group private page that our fosters, you know, check out daily. That's where all the dogs are put up, like, that need a foster. We do take owner surrenders as well, locally as well. But a lot of our dogs come from high kill shelters in the South because they're just yeah. overpopulated. So. so at this event, you will have... Uh, dogs available for adoption there that yeah. people can pet and meet and um, how many can you guess how many you want in an ideal world because I know it's all particular if you know if you have dogs that can um, be around people and large crowds and other dogs right. and children right. um, I shoot for five to seven per event if, okay if mm-hmm. I've, that's great right you know our, like I said our fosters are busy they have lives and also you know you really can't commit to an event like this more than a week out because your dog might be adopted, you know? Yeah. Our, right. Our dogs are in foster homes. A lot of them very short term, you know, they get adopted pretty quickly. So I can't even put it out there to the group until maybe two weeks before because right. or who's going to have what dog at that point. Mm-hmm. Will dogs be able to be adopted on site or will there be applications there for people to fill out? How is that process going to so, look like for, um, no. Inquiring minds. Yeah, you can't, you can't take a dog home that day. You have to complete an application on our website. Um, we do a very thorough job of, you know, making sure that it's the right fit for this for, for the dog. You know, I I just had somebody apply for a dog that we have, and it's just not it's not the right fit for them. It's just not the dog and them. It's just not going to be the right fit. So you fill out an application. Um, we will run the application. We check references. We check a vet reference. We check personal references. We do a home visit um, to make sure the dog is going into the right home. So to answer your question, no, you can't get the dog that day. But if you apply that day and it works out, you could probably have the dog within a few days. 
Love that. Great. I think that's. And yeah. Erica and Laura, so how did you find Paws Across Pittsburgh? Like what made you choose them? Um, so as I was researching, I really wanted to find a unique shelter. And I came across Paws Across Pittsburgh. And I just loved how unique they were. And you really don't see home-based shelters. Um, so I thought that was yeah. really nice. Um, and then I was super impressed with Christy, her ideas, experiences, and dedication to animal welfare was truly, it truly shined. So thank you. Really we want to thank her. Yeah, you guys, pause across Pittsburgh, you guys have a great um, social media, Facebook presence. Like you're very, it just seems very well organized and clean and you know, you know that it's foster based, you know that you're pulling these dogs from like really rough shelters. Um, you, You can just really tell there's a lot of passion and that you guys are just working as hard as you can to save these animals. Yes, we really are. <laughs> it's, you know, and it's great. I mean, you get so many good days, but there's a lot of bad days as well. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, and that's the thing, like, I like to get across, like, we, we get so many purebreds, you know, Yeah. yeah. like all dogs are great to me, but you know, some people, mm-hmm. the specific type of dog or a purebred. And I'm just like, just wait, it will come in. You know what I mean? That's exactly what uh, Kendall said. Yes. We've done a couple interviews with rescue groups and that is such a theme in rescue. And like, that is just such a thing in the dog world. If you just have a little bit of patience, sure. especially if you're willing to rescue yeah, the dog breed age, whatever, it will show up. And if it's meant to be, it'll work out. It, just, I mean, not even going through pause. Like if someone will tell me, right. I, yeah. I want a lab. Okay. Well, there's. A, there's a lab rescue that just rescues labs here in Pittsburgh and a right. lab rescue in Erie. Right. If you want a lab, you can get a lab. You want a German shepherd. You can get, I mean, they're every, almost every breed has a rescue. So. Right. Yeah. Um, Erica. Yeah. Salty paws. Who's next? Yes. Okay. And then obviously we have Tony unleashed. Um, we're, we're so excited to see your pet toys. Um, uh, that's what we'll, that's what will be the basket raffle too. Oh, awesome. Is the, the Pittsburgh pup lunch. We'll give you a whole, yeah. Cool. We can't wait to see it. Uh, we also have wild MTN design co and they specialize in pet art and sticker oh. creation. Oh, that's cool. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. And then, Ooh, urban trail. We're very excited about urban trail. So urban trail is, is actually very local. They're, they're right down the road from us. It's just mm-hmm. a coffee, um, coffee company. They, uh, oh. they have a truck. And so they've done some pop-up events for us in the past, but they are also extremely pet friendly and they do like little pup cups and have their like, pet of the week on their Instagram. So, um, we figured that would be yeah. a perfect treat for both our customers and our, our furry friends. And then also we have the Wolf Gang, which is a luxury spa experience for your pet, as well as a bakery with a exclusive gourmet treats. Yes. And where are they? They're in East Liberty, right? Oh, okay. Or Shady Side area. Oh, Wolf Gang. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. They're, yeah. They have the cutest little um, they, treats. They did finally reach out to carry our toys. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Wow. That's great. That's a lot of... Um, is, sorry, is there, oh, yeah, I think we there have more? more? Yeah, we have um, okay. Cookie Wax, which is a, a three wick soy dog themed candle company. And 5% of every purchase from Wiki Wags is donated to an, animal rescues. Wow. Nice. That's Do awesome. Have, and then, oh, sorry. We possibly no, have more going. vendors to come. Yeah, you have time to get more and more mm-hmm. exciting surprises that oh. you'll have to come for yourself to see. And and Erica, let us know if we can help. We have we have such a um, great network and yeah. connection because we're a pet store with so many companies. Yeah. That if you if there's any company that you can think of, I mean, we can help try to get more people like more uh, booths there as well. Okay. Um. So just reach out. Let us know. I've been around a while. Yeah. Are there any um, that we haven't really mentioned that you think would be interested? Yeah, we can talk. We yeah. can. Um, yeah. There's a I young. Can... There's even this young girl, she's popular at breweries and she does like um, spot on caricatures of your yeah. dog, of the dog. Oh my so, gosh. Oh, well, Chris, yes. you got to tell them about um, oh, the portrait princess. Oh, yeah. yeah. So we have a, 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 I guess she's just a 
I don't know if she volunteers for us, but she, her, she's called the Portrait Princess. Been great. <laughs> She runs her own pet pet photography studio, but she's been great. She donates one Sunday a month, and our fosters can take their foster dogs to her studio and get free photos of their. Oh my god! Promote them more. Um, she will be there, and she'll be able to take. She'll have some kind of fun backdrop, and mm -hmm. she'll take a photo of the dog, um, and then she can email you the photo. So that yeah. people love getting their dogs photos professionally taken like that. Yeah, I know the portrait princess. Yes. Yeah, she took my pictures for um, North Hills Monthly one, th one year that I was yeah featured oh, wow. in. Yeah. Is that the one where you're holding the wreath thing? No, okay. no, <laughs> no. That's a good picture. Um, uh, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah, that's incredible. So, Christy, tell us, um, other than this event, how... Why is it important to support you guys? How can people support you outside of the event? And how can they get in touch with you? And then Erica and Laura, can you talk to people how, if anyone's listening, you know, how they can get in touch with you about future events and uh, adoption events or whatever? Oh, sure. So I, like I said, part of my job at the rescue is to create events. Um, so I run a lot of my own events. I run, um, we have some events coming up. I run a monthly yappy hour at um, mm -hmm. Redfin Blues, which is down on the wall. Yeah. Love Redfin Blue right by my house. My district manager used to be the manager there. Oh, manager there. <laughs> yeah. Great. Him and I work well together. We basically do like a $10 donation, get you discounts on drinks and food. I'll, I have a couple of raffle baskets there. Um, but to help pause, we always need, sorry, that's my dog. Hey. Um, <laughs> we always need fosters. We always need volunteers. Um, try to come to any event. Sorry, guys. What is the problem? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> he was to be <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is the problem? Yeah. Um, sorry, so, like we, we always need fosters, volunteers, come to our events, spend money on raffle baskets. Um, um, we have a great website with tons of information about how you can get involved. I always say, you know, if you can't foster, volunteer, if you can't volunteer, donate. Those are like the three things that, you know, you can do to help those rescue. Um, Christy, um, more than happy to provide you with a Pittsburgh Pup Lunch to raffle at any of your events. Just let us know. Awesome. And we'll get you that. And the Pittsburgh Pup Lunch is a, I don't know if you've seen it yet, but it's a um, really cute cardboard box with the Pittsburgh skyline and the point on it. And then one of each toy. Sweet. So the, the pierogi, the miniature pierogies on a plate, the Iron City beer can, the Pittsburgh sandwich, and the ketchup bottle. I love it. I love it too. Yeah. yeah. So do you want to let us know what your Instagram and website and all your all your other things are? You want to list those out? Yeah, I mean, we have, it's all Pause Across Pittsburgh on Facebook, Pause Across Pittsburgh on Instagram. I don't run those. Uh, I don't run the social media. We have a lot of we have a lot of moving parts at the rescue, you know, um, people that do, you know, applications, people that foster, people that do events, people that do social media. Um, so, and just, I'm on Facebook as well. Um, my whole feed is dogs or pet related things. Um, because Great. I try to like promote the dogs that I bring in to, to in, into rescue and that I've had that I have approved foster applications and my fosters that take dogs, I try to get them to like, you know, network the dog. And we always have a event. Mm -hmm. um, we, we have a lot of events now going on. Like we have a hound hunt, which is July 22nd, which is out on the North shore. Um, it's basically a scavenger hunt with your dog. Cute. Ooh, that's that's, super that's cute. fun. There's businesses participating. You stop at a business, get a clue. Aww. figure out the, the like the clue and then you can move on and it's it's a really great event we'll have tons of vendors there it's a dj um things like that so like i said we, we always need we always need fosters the yeah more fosters we have the more dogs we can pull you know and how many dogs do you guys have um in your care right now 
Oh, I think, oh God, probably around 80. Wow. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Yep. Like I'm doing an option on Friday for a puppy that came in six weeks ago. And I don't know if, I don't know if any, anybody follows pause, but she's got like the most grumpy face, like grumpy mm. all the time. <laughs> little puppy so I was like my determination to get this puppy at home so I did a meet and greet with her yesterday and they love her so she'll get it be getting adopted on Friday which is great oh some of them just are special you know yeah so. yeah truly yeah, yeah. and yeah. then Erica and Laura is there a way that people getting can get in touch with you yeah definitely and anthropology yeah we're, we're really active on on Instagram so the best place to find any additional information is um, on on Instagram. Uh, our handle is anthro underscore home outlet. Um, and, and we'll be posting updates, you know, closer to the event um, with a vendor list. We'll also, we'll be, you know, updating any like promotions that we're having, anything like that. And then, and then you can always DM us on Instagram. We're, we're pretty um, frequently checking our messages. Um, if there are any inquiries about the event or um, inquiries about uh, future events so yeah so that is specifically your outlet it's not just a it is. generic anthropology because you're not the only one right you're the only home <gasps> in the country uh-huh oh i didn't know that oh wow yeah. yes yes yeah. and we do want to mention that it is free there's no admission yes mm -hmm. i just wanted to say one more thing about the rescue just to how it, how important it is, you know, for, for fundraising. Like that's, that's my, what, that's my main job is to fundraise because our vet bill last year was over $400,000. So. Oh my God. Cow. Cause all of the dogs that we're bringing in, they're, they're not spayed and neutered. They're not vaccinated. A lot of them have issues. So yeah. Yeah. We, you know, so I, we I'm always trying to generate money. <laughs> sure. <laughs> And Christy, do you have um do you have any uh, foster groups or foster homes in the South Hills? Because our South Hills um, location can always hold and use um, adoption events on the weekends. Mm -hmm. um, I think we do. I think we do. Um, I am in the north, and a lot of the rescue mm -hmm. stuff has been happening. So we have a re like we have a rescue house. We call it. It's out in Torrentum. Mm -hmm. it's a physical house. It's not a shelter. That's just where we store, you know, um, supplies because for our fosters, all they do is provide a safe, loving home. We give them, we, like we provide food and leashes and crates, whatever they need, they can go to the house and get that. So that's like a physical house that we, um, that we keep supplies at. We have some virtual events there. That being said, a lot of the events have been out that way. So I'm trying to get more events in different parts of the area to yeah, we definitely need to talk because um, you you guys are more than welcome at all of our stores. Mm -hmm. um, and we are also a drop off location for blankets, towels, food, cat scratch, or you name it, we get it. We can help you guys out with that as well. So great. <laughs> talk soon. Talk soon. Bye. Bye bye. Now we're going to break for a quick message from our sponsor. So sit and stay. We want to give a big shout out to our sound engineer, Brad, from Beacon Sound Systems, LLC. This is the highest quality sound editing, and he knows exactly what to edit. So it's his fault the F-bombs are still in there. <laughs> you can reach Brad for all your sound editing needs through... Instagram and Facebook, you'll follow at Beacon Sound Systems. Website, www.4beaconsound.com. Phone number, 724-471-2410. Beacon Sound is a locally owned company in our neck of the woods here in Pittsburgh, PA. So if you're in need of large LED screens, stages, lighting, or sound systems for any occasion, big or small, this is the company for you. Sounds like a party in one. And boy, do we need one. Yeah. <laughs>